Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, really nasty today. I know I'm saying this a lot, I sound like a broken record, but uh, it's been it's been windy, like gusting, heavy, 30 plus all day since I woke up. And um, so it was a build day. Took a break from editing and um, took a look around, saw what I had as parts and decided to give an X8 a try. This is a trippy configuration. I just got it built. This is basically the Maiden. I got it up and <coughs> flew it for 20 seconds so far. But as you can see, it is a like an X quad, but with uh, coaxial <coughs> coaxial motors, top and bottom, on all four arms. So you have a lot of power, but a lot of weight at the same time. I'm not convinced. Honestly, I was digging around and I, I have this HAL frame, which is a fantastic frame, by the way. If you're looking to get into multi-rotors, the HAL is cheaper than the, the Talon and a very good frame. But um, I wanted to see if I could if I could do this, so I, I gave it a shot and we'll see. I, it needs a lot of tuning, but it sort of flies. <laughs> it's, I mean, granted, it's super windy, not very nice today, but... It has some weird tendencies. I need to try to tune it out. Oh, it's loud too. Whoa. Whoa. It scares me actually. Because it sort of does what it wants to do. I'm going to try to tune it a little bit more. so trippy it's <laughs> I mean I wasn't actually convinced that I was gonna like it anyway I just did it to do it and it took forever oh my god I was working on this thing for like six hours it's ridiculous but um I've always disliked coaxials um, just the concept of it is it's just stupid I mean well, it's not stupid but it it um, kills efficiency I mean, all that extra noise you hear is, is just air blowing into air and killing efficiency and creating rotors around the craft. And All right, let's see if this is better. Ah, oh, it's getting better. Okay, wait a second. This is actually flying okay. Whoa, wait. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of wind it's dealing with. You can't really give it too much crap because it is dealing with a lot. I'm going to keep turning that gain up. I mean, it's pushing into the wind pretty hard, so the gain is probably high enough, but you got to hit that limit. You got to hit that upper limit before you realize and you got to start backing down from there. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I do with it. Well, I'd actually prefer to make an Octa, but I don't have a frame, and I'm not really into making my own frame right now. So, we'll see. Whoa. Whoa. This is too trippy. It flies so weird. Oh, man. Well, even if I don't end up using it for anything, it's a good experiment. You got to test this stuff out just to see. I'm going to keep cranking this gain up. Screw it. I mean, I've got plush ESCs, so I know it can deal with pretty high refresh rate. Funny thing about this, it's not all matching components. It looks like it, but it's not. The ESCs are all 18 amp, except there's a couple basics mixed in there, and the rest are plushes. And then the um, the motors are DT750s on the top and DT700s on the bottom. Uh, I figured the most that would do is 
decrease the power uh, with one rotation, so I'd end up having to compensate with a little bit of yaw trim, but I barely had to do that, actually. It was surprising. Whoa, this thing has some bizarre altitude. Whoa, I think I lost a prop. What was that? That prop just exploded. Where'd the bit go? It almost hit me. I saw it. Fuck. Ooh. People think I am so weird. Walking around with a GoPro on my head. I swear, there is a bit of prop over here. Okay, wait a second. This is a really good test. Because I was able to put it down lightly. Now, we get to see how the redundancy on this is. And how it can deal with vibration. Let's check it out. I've got, I'm not sure you get this. I have one full blade missing on the lower prop here. Okay? So, whoop, oh, bear with me. I'm gonna put you back on my head. <laughs> this is, this is gonna be good. I wonder how it'll work out. Whoa, look at that vibration. Oh, come on! Give me a break! Battery falls out. I wonder if the battery had been wiggling out the whole time. Alright. Now we get to see. Whoa, I'm afraid that prop's gonna knock my freaking leg off. Okay, I don't want to totally destroy it, but you could probably get it back. Honestly, if I took the whole prop off, I think it would be better. Hold on. Let's test something out here. Come here. Ah, second prop blade. Okay, so check it out. I am missing a prop. Completely. Missing a prop. Now let's test it out. See if the vibration was what was keeping it. Oh, this is going to be messed up. Oh, redundancy! How killer is that, guys? Oh, I'm so happy. Look at that. It is completely missing a prop, bottom left. And it's flying well. That is messed up. Alright guys, I gotta end it at that, but hey, you know what? I haven't got it flying exactly the way I want, but it's been out of balance. Out of balance as far as a prop goes, out of balance as far as my battery moving fore and aft. And I have now flown it with no, no rear left um, lower prop. Wow. And I almost got cut with one of these. Well, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this or found it enlightening. I certainly did. And uh, have a great day, guys. See you.